when I enter a site like this, Shurinagong Pagoda, which is 2,000 years old, I enter it with the greatest respect for the actual religious site itself. This is my ethos. It is incredibly important to me to not be obtrusive when I'm documenting a place like this and, and people during worship. And I think it results with images that are more unguarded and, and original and less corrupted. This is something I also apply to less sacred places, on a street corner, in a car, anywhere. The great thing about this camera is that you can walk the streets and then you can just fall in the door somewhere and start shooting. And, and people just don't react to this camera, you know. It's, it's small, it's unobtrusive. It has a retro design. The X100S is just a great camera for breaking down the walls of, of people's reactions to, to being photographed. If someone asked me what it meant to be a documentary photographer, I would say it's, it's like a calling where you want to document people's lives and their stories and then share those stories with a larger audience. A lot of the, a lot of the stories are steeped in social issues, poverty, health issues, environmental issues really important things for people to understand, really important things to be communicated to a larger audience. And how it's different from photojournalism is, is it's often not dictated by time. But you look good for your age, huh? 72. Well, I'm, I'm 55, but I look 72. Oh. You have such a beautiful smile. Look. Wow! Yeah. Very good. Very good, yeah. Yes, oh, your English is good. <laughs> Can you speak English? No. No, my baby's is not so good either. My baby's is nothing. <laughs> That's okay, stay there, stay there. Okay, see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs>